So excited to say we now have an add-on. Um, so you can purchase as much credits as you need. Um, so you can create as much as you want with Avatar 4. And our team is very focused on one, improving the quality, but also getting the cost down and making it so you can create you know, unlimited um, as you're used to with HM. You definitely don't need a professional photographer to create your avatar on HM. Um, you know, we, we've all created our own avatars and you can do it with any like smartphone camera, it's great. Um, so you have like a good iPhone, you can record it that way. Often what helps is just making sure your environment is set up right. Um, so you can put the camera in a way that it's going to be stable. If you have a tripod, that's great. Um, make sure the background lighting is good. Make sure you have strong contrast between what you're wearing and the background. Um, so that your body doesn't blend in. Um, and then ideally, you know, if you can either have a script or you're good at freestyling, um, you know, then you just talk naturally. So um, while it can sometimes help to have someone to guide you through the footage or guide you through the recording, definitely not needed. And especially with our new uh, video evaluation tool, when you submit your footage, we'll actually score it and we'll flag if there's any issues. So you can be confident uh, when you record your avatar that you know, the quality is good when you go to create. Um, so there's a few ways to really improve the quality of your voice so that it sounds more like you and it sounds less robotic. One new feature we have is Voice Director, which is pretty awesome. You can custom prompt uh, exactly how you want it spoken. So you can custom prompt the emotion, the pacing, um, you know, the tone, any inflections. Um, so that's a way, like often when you clone your voice, the voice clone sounds a lot more muted than your actual voice. Voice director can bring in that expressivity. Um, and again, having an expressive voice is critical to creating great avatar videos because it's the audio that really drives the animation. Um, other ways to improve the voice is one, um, first for your voice clone, it's critical to have good quality audio. Um, and sometimes actually when you record your video footage, even though we automatically will clone your voice, that voice clone is not the highest quality because the best way to record your voice is not necessarily the best way to record your footage. Um, so we do offer a feature where you can do a standalone voice clone, where you just submit the audio, it will clone your voice, and uh, you know, we have a lot of help center materials for the best way to do a voice clone. Um, honestly, voice memos on an iPhone works great. Hold the camera, like, uh, hold the mic like six, six inches from your mouth, and you can talk like that. Um, but yeah, so another way to just get a better voice is ensure you have high quality audio when you do your voice clone and you can voice clone separately. And then the third way to get the voice to sound very natural and expressive is voice mirroring. Um, so voice mirroring involves you can actually speak it exactly as you want it spoken and then the avatar will mirror how you said it word for word but in their voice. So if you are created for a different character um, and you want it to sound really like, like you can say it exactly how you want it to sound and then the character will speak it. Cool. Um, the answer is you can definitely create Pixar avatars on HN. Um, you know, that style actually works great with our lip sync. Um, so you can generate the character on our platform um, where you can type in exactly what you want. And we have a style selection where you can select for the Pixar style. Um, and you can create lots of different looks with that same character. Um, and then you can go to animate it with either Avatar 4 or you can add motion to that. Uh, look and then go to create videos with it. Um, so yeah, definitely you can create Pixar and you can control that movement, um, you know, with prompting. You can add motion and prompt for the exact type of motion you want, whether it's looking to the left or right, uh, pointing, etc. Thanks everyone for watching. Leave any questions you have down below.